Guys, I'm going to do a cold start on this 77 GMC truck by the name of Wilma. It's been a couple of weeks, maybe a little longer. We'll see how quick she fires up. I like to keep an eye on these glue traps that I have in here. Oh, because it's that time of year for mice. Just about. That wasn't too bad at all. If you don't have uh, glue traps for mice, if you've only got uh, mouse traps or whatever, that would work too. But the way I've moved my trucks around and stuff, it's easy to uh, get the little trap to go off without nothing being on it, you know. So I prefer the glue traps. If you've never used a glue trap before, they're they're very sticky. You can get them at Walmart. Some of the some of the big stores they have them. Even some of the smaller stores. I believe this brand that I use is called uh, Catch Master. I've caught, a, I've caught a lot of things on glue traps. Stuff that I never imagined getting caught on there. Snakes, birds, lizards, of course, bugs, and uh, mice. I don't have anything against really any of those creatures. I mean, I, I, I really don't want a snake around me. But mice, they're all God's creatures, but at the same time, mice will eat everything in this truck. Spark plug wires, the wiring, the, anything, and they reproduce so quick. So anyway, enough on that. If you've got no vehicle or a boat or something like that, or have a garage, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you've ever had mice problems, Back when I was a very, very young man, I lived in a rental house and I didn't know it, but they, there was mice all in the house. I set out traps and I caught nine mice in one evening. And I mean, I, it was a, two-story home and I would set those mouse traps out. I wound up getting a whole bunch of mouse traps and I think that one evening I said uh, I caught nine. Every time I'd go downstairs to watch TV I could hear it go ching ching. at these turn signal lights because I had a YouTube subscriber that asked me about these turn signals that his wasn't sitting up in there very flush this is a 77 but it's the same thing I'm trying to see if it says left or right see this has that tab this one, oh, this one did. That's what happened, but it broke. I'm trying to see if it's got a left or right on here. Actually, I think you can just flip them over, but because I have before. Now, see, the writing is up here. I don't know if you can see it or not. Oh, okay, I see it in the corner. Got the R. 
hard for me to see. These are kind of dirty anyway. And uh, you see, kind of see if there's an L up here on this one. Like that, there it is. I don't know if you can see it, but in the very corner, there's an L. But anyway, uh, that's the way these are in here. All I've done, sorry, it's, I need to let it run for a few minutes. All I've done is really just uh, change the bulbs in Wilma. Hope that this helps you in maybe what the problem is. Probably wind, wind up putting these on my Cheyenne truck, the 78. If you've kept up with my channel, you know, I deal in junk. Uh, I don't know what happened to that, but it kind of broke off there, it looks like. But anyway, I've, I've put them in lots of times to just, you know, flip them around. It don't really matter left or right. I've even changed them. You know, they come out with the earlier models, I think like 73 and stuff that they didn't even have the chrome, the chrome around the lens. So to make them look a little better, make them pop, as I always say, I put the chrome, uh, I, I swapped out the plastic ones. It's just pure plastic and put the chrome, chrome ones on for the junkyard back in the day. This is good to let this old truck run a little bit. It's a pretty day, but we're going, supposed to get some rain this afternoon. So trying to take advantage of the weather situation. I'm still waiting on my friend to detail the engine on this. If you're wondering, the engine's dirty. If this is a 85,000 mile original truck, square bodies are notorious in the 70s especially for having rust issues so anyway you i've got lots of videos on this truck if you've never seen this truck before a lady named wilma bought it new in 77 a few counties over from me i live in east tennessee she put the tag on it so i just left left it on there but Getting back to what I was talking about, I'm, I'm wanting to get the engine detailed on it, but uh, it, it's a uh, deer season. And there are, you can go up and down the roads here in East Tennessee and there just, there's lots of deer laying on the side of the road where they've run out in front of, in front of cars and trucks. So uh, I don't know why, but it is deer season. So. Anyway, uh, my friend works at a body shop and they have been working overtime because it is deer season and a lot of people are having their cars and trucks uh, hit. You know, deer jump out in front of them. We was behind a lady here a week or so ago going to, going to Tim Dixon's at Gas Axe Chop Shop and the lady was in a Ford Expedition in front of us driving and uh, a deer got out in front of her and of course she hit it. Unfortunately, I mean, it's just something you can't avoid. It's, it's kind of like the, the deer stand on the side of the road and just wait for you to get close, and then they jump out in front of you. I, I don't know if it's, I could make fun of it and say they're, uh, you know, waiting for a good looking vehicle to come by and jump out in front of it, or, or they're playing a game. How close can you get without hitting me? I'm kind of a nut like that that I, I don't mean to make light of it. I hate it for the, I'm not, just forget I said that. Anyway, I do hate it. I hope it never happens to me, but chances are if you live in East Tennessee for any length of time, it's probably gonna happen. This sure is a good little truck. Man, I like it. Anyway, I thought I'd uh, share with you about the turn signal lens in the front. If you have just the plastic ones without the chrome, you can just put them, put them on, you know, and kind of brightens up the front end just a little bit, in my opinion. I don't know, these are the clear ones. Of course, they have the amber colored 
I don't know what years those are correct for, but stuff like that doesn't matter to me as long as it fits and it works and it makes the truck look good, I'm all for it. Anyway, appreciate you watching the video. Didn't mean to make it so long as I normally do. I get started talking about things. Hope y'all's having a great day. Don't forget, I have a second YouTube channel called Chevy Trucks. If you would check it out, I sure would be grateful. And I uh, hope y'all's having a great day. God bless each and every one of y'all. Thanks for watching. And uh, I guess I'll catch you in the next video. Y'all be careful. See you later. Hey guys, I'm over here at the gas station. Just put $10 worth of premium in Wilma. 77 GMC truck. Hang on, I gotta put my seatbelt on. Okay, I'm gonna take her home. About a little over three quarters of a tank. It had had less than a half a tank in it. Okay, I'll show you when I get home. Hang on. Okay, guys, I'm kind of back in my neck of the woods here. I'm going to drive Wilma around for just a moment. Don't have many pretty days like this left in the year, I wouldn't think. I'll be glad all these leaves get done falling. As you can see, we still got quite a few more to go. Seems like though, once you get past, I don't know, after Christmas, maybe the second week in January, whatever, I start getting my hopes up that spring will be just around the corner. I look forward to spring, not the storms, but the warmer weather. And, well, I should say not the pollen either. Anyway, I thought you might get a kick out of riding with me for just a minute. Putting a little bit of gas in Wilma. Trap. Okay, I'm back at my own house where all the leaves have congregated. I know it ain't much of a video, but this time of year you really can't have much of a video. So, oh boy. Hope y'all's having a good day. In case you're a new person, this is my 77 GMC truck by the name of Wilma. Let me know if you like Wilma. I'd appreciate it if you would. I know I did. Old truck runs good. With this, with this, with a truck like this, you have all kinds of options. By that I mean you can. You can lower it, you can change wheels, you can lower it and keep the same wheels. There's all kinds of options because it can still be somebody's dream. By that I mean, I, I, y'all probably think I'm strange, I guess you do, but it don't matter. I guess I am strange, but my point is, when you see a vehicle like at a car show or something like that, that's already restored and everything to, to the way the owner likes it well that's great but uh 
you know, it's already been customized or whatever, custom touches here and there. But with this one, I mean, the way I look at this truck, the canvas is still kind of blank. You know, you can, you can lower it. You can raise it up. You can lower it. You can change wheels. You can change the motor. You can do all kinds of things. It's still pretty much an original truck. So not that I would. I still think about lowering it, but I've got to save up to do stuff like it probably be first of next year sometime if I ever even do it. But I just get sidetracked so much. But it's just a good little old truck to, to play with. It's just a blank canvas. And I still get lots of looks in it, even putting gas in it. I, uh, at, the, at the filling station, while there were still a lot of people looking at it. So it is what it is. And I like it. So anyway, didn't mean to be long-winded as I normally am. Please don't forget that I have a second YouTube channel besides Primer It Is Best. It's called Chevy Trucks. And I appreciate it if you would check it out. Subscribe, leave me a comment, let me know what you think about that channel. Thank you for watching this video. I sure am grateful for that. If you just stumbled across my channel, please subscribe. Please subscribe. I would be grateful if you would. Thanks a lot. Y'all stay safe. God bless each and every one of y'all. And on behalf of Wilma and myself, I say thanks for watching. See y'all later.